the over one Argo Matrix here. Welcome you to episode 50 of Let's Play Mario RPG. Last time we got our star piece jacked by these axum fucks, and now we're gonna deal with them. All right, get back here, you stupid. By the way, this remix of this song is totally awesome. I forgot about this song. It's pretty good. Jeez, they're impossible to catch up with. At least they like wait for you. They're just taunting you this whole time, though. Hey, I see them. Let's go. Come on, Mario. Go, 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 go. We don't have time to waste. Oh. And up we go. Up, up, and away. And they're just sitting on the volcano. Okay. Where's the blade? He'll be here. Are you sure? Relax, people. Mario's here. He's too late. Where's my... Where's the blade? Shut up already. You sound like Valentina. Oh, holy shit. No. Finally. The Axum Rangers, I guess they do have a team name. Get down here. Or I'll come up to you, I guess, rather. We fight for evil. We live for disorder. We like what we do. We struggle for chaos. We are... The Axum Rangers! And there you go. Is that Transformers head behind him? I think it is. This star piece gives people hope. It needs to be destroyed. Dude, you can't do that. You can't destroy people's hope. Alright, this is the Axum Rangers. And, yep, there's the... Basi it's basically the ripoff of the Power Rangers, in case you didn't get that. And if you didn't, I kind of feel sad for you. Alright, so I'm going to have to start listing down the weaknesses of these five enemies. Here we go. Alright, so first we so first up over here we have the Axum Pink. Uh, she has 400 hit points. I'm guessing it's a she. It could be just anything. Whatever. The abilities Recover, Mega Recover, and Pedal Blast. She's weak to fire and resistant to ice, sleep, and mute. Alright. And, um... The next guy here, the Axum Black which is very threatening. He has 550 hit points, the ability Spritz Bomb, he's weak to thunder and resistant to fear and sleep. Then we've got the kind of leader here, Axum Red. He's got 800 hit points, probably the most of any of them. He's got the ability Bigger Up, and he's weak to ice, resistant to fire, fear, and sleep. Alright, and then we've got the Tubba Blubba here, the Axum Yellow. He's got 600 hit points. He has the ability Body Slam, of course, because that's what Snorlax has. He's weak to Jump, and he is resistant to Thunder, Poison, and Sleep. And then finally, we've got kind of the Luigi of the place. We've got Axum Green here. He's got 450 hit points. He's got the ability to Solidify, Magic East, Beanier Blast, and Elegy. So he's kind of like the mage of the group, I guess. He's weak to Ice, and he is resistant to Sleep and Mute. So that's the rundown of these guys. And I guess we're just going to start off by um, by using some of their weaknesses here. Let's go ahead and use uh, Super Flame on the Axum Pink, because I believe she's weak to pink. I'm, she's weak to pink, yes, of course. No, she's weak to fire. And 250, not bad. Not bad at all. Ah, you missed. Oh, Jan. Hey, wow, that guy got to go twice. Alright, Gino, we're going to have you Gino boost to... Uh, Yourself, actually, because Mario's basically going to be doing mage attacks, and he doesn't need a Gino boost at this point. Alright, and what are you doing? Recover, of course. We didn't even hit Jackson Black. What are you doing? Jeez, these guys are fast as hell. And hard to time, or hard to block against. Alright, hey, block that. Cool. Alright, Peach. I think I'm just going to have you pretty much heal and use the Star Egg, because that's all you're kind of good for right at this point. You can do 100 damage to all five of them, which is phenomenal, to say the least. Okay. Jeez, I love this, like, atmosphere up here, just, like, fighting against them on up in the sky on their own ship. It's just kind of, like, you, you have a disadvantage, and you feel that, and it's, like, I don't know, scary in some sense. Okay, we'll Super Flame on Axe and Pink again. Probably don't even need the super flame. I could just use like a flame orb, but I might as well just do this. And is she dead? Yo, Red! What? My makeup's running. <laughs> of course. Then change brands. 
What the hell? Okay. So I'm guessing that means we did enough damage to her? I don't know entirely. Eh, <laughs> one damage with your bomb. Can we target her anymore? No, we can't. Alright, so that is the, um... That guy down, I guess. Okay. Gino, we're gonna have you attack the Axum... Which one's more threatening? I think I'm gonna go for Axum Black, because he just looks the coolest and he needs to die soon. Oh, I missed. Ow. Alright, what are you doing? Solidify! No! How dare you! Wow. Alright, Peach. I think we can survive one more round of attack, so go ahead and do the star egg again. For sure. Mm. I've run out of coke and my throat is still dry. I need to solve this problem soon. Alright, I just hit my microphone. Hopefully it didn't make too loud of a sound. Alright. Good job, buddy. See, this lazy shell is just kick ass. Alright, and the Axum Yellow, I think, is the one that... Yeah, the Axum Yellow is weak to jump, so... Let's super jump t jump him to Kingdom Come. Oh, I could have done a lot better than that, but killed him. You're red. What? I'm hungry. <laughs> Chew on your tongue. <laughs> oh my god. These guys are hilarious. They're evil and dastardly, but they're still hilarious. Yeah, I just deal one damage at a time to Peach. That's no big deal to me. Alright, hit him again. Oh, Vigor up! Uh-oh, this is not good. Alright, and I think that's pretty much all the weaknesses of these guys that we have was the jump and the fire, because the rest belong to Mallow, those magic attacks, so... Can't really do much with those weaknesses. Alright, Star Egg again, here we go. At least none of these guys have Valorar, because that would just be annoying, because they would be using that, and I would be doing 50 with the Star Egg, and that would just not be fun. Alright, Mario, I guess just go for... I think Axe of Red is probably the most dangerous right now. What are we going to do? But what's going to happen when we kill, like, Axe of Red? Because he can't very well, like, say, Yo, Red, to himself. Alright. Deal with the black guy. No! Stop that! Jeez, does the black guy have super evasion or what? For solidify! Jeez, I've been waiting like all game for this fight because this is like one of my favorite fights in the entire game. And we're just getting started with it too. Alright. I think it's about time for a group hug, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Alright, group hug! Sweet. And Mario, go ahead and we'll just take him down. Take down Axe and Black. You're red. What? I broke my shades. <laughs> of course you did. Sir, is you're right. Most definitely. See, Axum Red's on our side. Alright, let's deal with Luigi here. Uh, Axum Green. And keep on dealing more damage. Oh, we got him. Yo, Red. What? I've got a headache. Oh, pff, that's the lamest excuse ever. You're totally out of shape. Totally. Right now we just got Axum Red to deal with, which should be very easy. I'm not going to waste time on the Star Egg animation, I'll just melee this guy to hell. Or to heaven, whichever. Alright, come on. Is he dead yet? Uh, oh, apparently he is. Enough! Now I'm angry. Time to finish this. Formation? Ho! Don't call me a ho. I'm not even a girl. Here we go! Uh oh. And this is the Axum Rangers. Yup. An entirely new boss just springing out of them an old boss fight or in the middle of a new. of this boss fight. Kinda like the Tsar Dragon and the Zombone. Alright, so the Axum Rangers, 999 hit points, so that's not too bad. They've got the Breaker Beam ability, which is very unique. I think it's unique to the Axum Rangers, actually. And it does an extreme amount of damage to... Yeah. Oh, wait. Breaker Beam does an extreme amount of damage to everyone. Make sure Princess use group, uses group hug every turn. Okay, that could be useful. Axum Rangers weak to thunder. And resistant to fire, poison, sleep, and mute. Alright. So, I think we're in kind of good enough shape right now. Um, I don't know. 
I might have to, I'm, I'm going to use a group hug just in case so that makes sure that everyone's at full HP when this breaker beam goes. Whatever it is. Maximum charge. Now fire the breaker. Uh-oh. Breaker beam. Here we go. Uh-oh. Can we withstand the power? Is it going to be like Sin's gigaton thing? Oh, that wasn't too bad, actually. All right. I'm still going to have Princess heal every time, though, just like they recommended. Mario, super jump it, because you are powerful with that. Not bad at all. Okay. Geno, I think we're going to have you use a Geno boost on yourself. Because the last one has probably run out by now. Jeez, I'm good at that action command for Geno boost. I mean, it's not too hard, but still. Alright. And yeah, that breaker beam actually did more than one damage to Peach, which is amazing. Alright, recharging. Okay, that's fine. Uh, oh, hold on. I'm getting interrupted here. Alright, I am finally back. I got interrupted for quite a long while, actually, so I kind of forgot what I was doing. What was I doing? I'm pretty sure I was fighting a pack of Goombas here, so let's just keep on dealing with this. The only way we know how to stomp on the Goombas. Here we go. Kind of a horrendous atmosphere to be fighting Goombas in, though, isn't it? Oh, well, maybe they're not Goombas after all. I don't know. He said Axe and Rangers there, so I'm inclined to believe that instead. All right, sorry, I guess. Enough of this charade. I know it's the Axe and Rangers, the transforming machine. I love this how they just have this like random pop cult culture reference turn into a boss fight. It's crazy. Breaker beam! Bra, I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat you! It actually doesn't look that powerful for being like something that completely breaks your defense. It actually looks kind of just like a slow, soothing wave of light. Kind of pleasant, actually. Alright. Uh, two not I'm doing more with the freaking lazy shell than I am with the super jump, so I'll just keep on doing that, I guess. Or is he dead yet? Oh. This isn't possible! We are invincible! Obviously not. Can this be happening? To the Axum Rangers? Yup. What the hell do- <laughs> We just jumped off again into middle of nowhere, just like Booster Sour all over again. 17 experience. Wow. And... Boom. It just completely blows up into oblivion. We just destroyed a gigantic battleship in the sky with jumps and shells and stuff. And I guess that's the star piece right there. Just now we have just one more to get. They kind of duped us in the volcano there. But, alright, six star pieces have finally been collected. Where could that last star piece be? I haven't a clue. Is there anywhere else we to go, though? Let's find out. Because the real, really the only area that we can have left to do anything, maybe, is Nimbus Land. Uh, let's kind of look around. Up here, maybe? Let's see. Oh, hello. What are you doing? The bus is undergoing repairs. Alright. Well, let's talk to Queen and King Nimbus, I guess. I'm, maybe they have some information. They're the ones who told us about the volcano and stuff, so... Let's find out. What the heck? I'll work all the way back up to the throne room. And it's not too far, I guess. Especially now there's no freaking enemies. Alright. And it should be just in here, maybe. Um, What's in here? Did we ever go in here? No, we never had a chance to go in there, but there's just people there. There's just cloud people. Alright, and oh, cutscene. I guess I did the right thing. I didn't even know what it was doing, honestly. Mom! Dad! Were you able to find the star, dear? Yeah, the Axum Rangers took it away from us, but we got it back again. That's wonderful. Now the star, uh, star thing. Star piece, it's not that hard to remember, dude. Oh no, you're talking about the star road, okay. I guess not, you're still missing a piece, I take it. Yep. The last star. Wait, the only place left is to look is in Bowser's Keep. Oh, don't tell me we have to go back to that shithole. Yeah, we know. 
but there's no way to get in believe me we've tried but yeah yeah we tried we tried so many different tactics like looking off of vista point looking off of vista point and jumping angrily uh that's about it actually yes yes even mario can't jump that far oh, i'm sure if he put his mind to it he could maybe get a running start super jump all the way there on a, like a pair or a koopa paratrooba that's it dear you should use the royal bus oh i thought it was undergoing repairs though that's what that guy said yes mallow the time has come for you to take the bus <laughs> you're a full-grown man now time to take the bus oh my god really are you sure it's all right of course dear i've ordered a repairman to have it fixed by the time you leave you simply have to help Mario and the others get that last star. You bet, Mom. Come on, Mario. Let's go! Sure thing. Alright, so I guess that makes the bus repair now? I don't know. But jeez, I have no idea what time I'm up to right now. Seriously, I don't. Probably a lot of time, because I had a freaking boss fight and stuff. So I'll probably end this off soon, but... You know what? We'll just go see what this bus is about. If this turns out to be like a 25-minute episode, I'm cool with that. Gonna have to have one of those eventually. I mean, yeah. Oh, don't interrupt me again. Seriously. Okay, so over here is where the bus should be. And let's talk to him. The bus has finally been repaired. We can start operating again. Cool. And let's operate. Prince Mallow! We want to go to Ke Bowser's Keep. Could you give us a lift, please? I've heard the story from King Nimbus. He'll be there in no time. Wow, that's very generous. Okay. Here comes, here comes! Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a hilarious looking bus. It's like a Lakitu that got fat or something. Ah, uh, so how's the engine running? Oh, it's burned like a kitten. Could you take Prince Mallet to the engines of Bowser's Keep? Of course, I can't wait to get this thing running again. Come on, Prince, hop aboard. All right, let's do this thing. We are finally going to go back to Bowser's Keep, the first area we ever went in the game. After this long, we're off. And hallelujah, praise the Lord. Why does it have wheels anyway? It's a floating bus. Seriously, it doesn't even look like a bus anymore. It just looks like a cloud, which is what it is, so I'm not going to fault it for that. But now... There's Vista Point and all those toads looking off, because they can, I guess. And there we are, headed right inside. And we just hop right on off, and everyone's excited. They're like, yes, they're going to take on the giant sword. And here we are. Ah, oh, the scent of boiling lava. So nice to be home. Smithy's going to pay for stealing my smelling castle from me. Let's hope so, Bowser. Let's hope so. Okay, is there a save point around here? Because I need one. Apparently not. Alright, so... Uh, I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Um, And now we've completed the loop. So we completely looped around the world map. Now we can head in a complete circle, which is very nice. So let's end this episode off right where we begin our adventure in Mario's Pad. Alright. So in the next episode, we're going to head into Bowser's Keep. Can you believe it? That's just how close we are to the end of this game. Look at that, level 20, six star pieces. It's been a good day. Alright, so thanks everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.